Hi. You're very brave to stand out here like a surrounded. You know what's your what? name? When you stand in truth, you have nothing to fear. What, what's your name? Jennifer Harrison. Jennifer Harrison. Patriot, Patriot Movement AZ. I'm representing from Arizona. Did you come out from Arizona for this? I came out for the border rally in San Diego this morning. You were there today? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, how many people were there? Uh, about 400 people. Uh, were, th were there uh, protesters also? Nope, not a one. Not near? Not a one. There was one illegal alien that rolled up with his Mexican flag, tried to hang it out the window. Uh -huh. That was it. Uh -huh. So uh, do you feel the uh, the absence of police here? Would you like to have more police protection separating the sides? No, I don't like it when they separate us because we don't have a chance to talk. When uh -huh. they keep us separated, it's just screaming from one side of the street to the other. Uh -huh. I think this is good dialogue. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. well, it doesn't really seem like a dialogue. It's so, used to well, calling you can't names. argue with brain dead liberals. There are a few of them, though, that are willing to talk. But people seem to be uh, shouting at, at each other they here. They all shout. Yeah. They, 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 they're very emotional. Yeah. They're very emotional. They think words hurt. They think words, they think words are, are just as bad as physical action. Uh -huh. But here's the thing, sorry. My president is not here to pander to their feelings. My president is in office to do his job. Uh -huh. and, 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 and how would, uh, what would he do to do his job in, in this uh, circumstance? We need to build the wall. Yes. Uh, we're, bring, we're bringing back jobs. Yes. Unemployment is the lowest. Yes. Stock market is high. We have confidence again in America. Yes. America is strong again. Yeah. We have a, a good, uh, our infrastructure is is being rebuilt. Yes. We have plans to to be strong again. You know, I grew up. I grew up. I've lived here my whole life, and you know, I've seen this country just deteriorate over the last 15 years. Yeah. All of the manufacturing, all of the businesses have moved out of the country. We are uh, we are sending our we have sent our jobs. We've sent everything overseas through Obama. And President Trump is is making things making things right again. Yes. And bringing back the jobs, bringing back the the money, the wealth, the safety, the the infrastructure, and the foreign. We need to be strong overseas as well. We've been a laughing stock of the world for the last ten years. How about California, though? California is a crap hole. I'm sorry, I have not been here in five six years to. Uh -huh for vacation and I refuse to spend one one penny here. I Why? <laughs> you might get a phone charger. Uh, what's going on in California that's not going on in uh, Arizona? Taxes. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh -huh, uh -huh. But we you, don't have gas taxes. But don't you also have we a have huge, uh, don't you also have a huge illegal alien burden on the system? Yes, yes we do. We yes. have a huge illegal alien burden in our, in, our, in our state. Yes. And we are fighting with everything we have to not end up like this, to not become a sanctuary anything. Sanctuaries are for Americans only. Dreams are for Americans only. If you want to be an American, you got to get in line and do it the right way. There seems to be a, a, a strong communist socialist yes. organization behind this. Where are, where's the organization? If you remember when Reagan said, when communism comes to America, it will come in the form of liberalism. And this is exactly what you see here. You have a bunch of confused children that have been indoctrinated in schools to, to expect free things, that, that the government should be taking care of them yes. instead of hard work and achievements. They are looking for the handout instead of the hand up. And that's where it starts in communism. The promise versus the reality. Okay, so the lady behind you, would you, like, would you like to have a conversation here to explain explain what you're saying here? Pardon me? Would you like to have a conversation to, to discuss discuss what, what you're saying? Okay, so you're saying Maxine Waters got 76% and that's something that you're proud of? Uh, that's just a fact that I'm pointing out. Well, but but you're you're boasting it as if it's a good thing. Well, Maxine Waters is someone who is revered in California. She is well, not not universally. How much is Maxine worth? Is that relevant to her it is. voting statistics? It is because how did Maxine get rich? Because exactly, how did she get rich? And does her wealth reflect? Does her lifestyle reflect the community that she represents? Do you know how? 
where her money comes from. Answer that question. I, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. You brought up wealth, so do you know where her wealth comes from? I'm, I know she's worth a whole lot. How much is she worth? Billions. Billions, really? That's interesting. Where did that money come from? Well, well, where did where did where did her wealth come from? If, if you know, I don't I don't know. I don't claim exactly. to know. Exactly. But Why do you think your taxes are so high? Ding 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 ding. Uh, ding because ding, ding. public services oh, and yeah, roads no. and things like public assistance programs. And like how's Medicaid. your roads look? Your roads look pretty crappy to me. Um, they look fine actually. Yeah. Have you have you gone a few miles that way or that way or that way? I uh, yeah. I've driven all over LA. This is Beverly Hills. Let's go into LA. I what live what in district LA. is Maxine Waters? I mean, I, uh, She's like I uh, central central You're LA. You're not even from here. here. No, oh but my I God. watch. <laughs> That's why I'm here to make sure we don't turn she's out. She's not like from us. here, and she's lecturing us about our roads. That is so. Because I've been driving cute. all around. I've been driving around here for like eight years total. Okay. So I probably know this city better than you do. I'm just guessing. How do you feel that you have no gun rights here? Uh, pretty good about it actually. Did pretty you know that the Second it. Amendment? Uh, the Second Amendment was designed when people had muskets that took like 30 seconds to load. So I don't think that it was written in, with things like AR-15s in mind. A weapon is a weapon. Yeah, and they're designed to kill. So exactly. We're just going to have to disagree if you, if you believe that people should be able to own weapons that are designed to kill people. It's in our Constitution. Uh -huh. I disagree with that. You don't have a right to change our Constitution because the gun makes you uncomfortable. I am not trying to change the Constitution. You think I, that the gun should be banned? I literally never said that. Okay, so obviously you're a Republican and you're a Democrat. Would you, ca would you characterize yourself as Democrat or liberal? Yes, absolutely. I'm a Democrat. What's your name? My name is Bay. How do you spell it? What? How do you spell it? Uh, V-E. Oh, okay. Um, so, but you're here against uh, President Trump. Why? Because, uh, hold that a little higher. Uh, because the people of California in general do not support Trump, and his visit here to have a high ticket fundraiser amongst the minority of people who supported his, ca his campaign and uh, are looking to support his presumed campaign in 2020 is offensive to the majority of people here who did not well, wait, wait, But you want a, f a fair and free election, don't you? What does that have to do with protest? Well, why would him raising money for an election? You, did you object to President Obama coming here and disrupting the city? I, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Did you object to President Obama coming here and disrupting the city? Why would? Uh, I mean, this I is this is the way this is the way politics work. I said that we object to him having a a high ticket fundraiser. Why well, Obama raised many more millions? Uh, what? I'm sorry. What? Uh, okay. No. So Obama Obama raised lots of money. Nothing wrong with that, was there? That's true. And a lot of people in uh, very red districts in very red states protested Obama as well. But not for that. No, they uh, they held up effigies. Uh, we're not pro okay. That's you're, what your mouth. You're, though, you're right? twisting you're, my no, words. No, you're upset that he's raising money in a in a high end. But I didn't see any signs here that said anything about him raising money. Your sign doesn't say anything right. about raising money. A big group of people were chanting about how the thirty-five thousand dollar tickets that he's selling could be applied towards college tuition. Uh -huh. They want their but, free but stuff. Un, but until tonight, they want the money. <laughs> until tonight, that wasn't your beef with Ob with President Trump, is it? They want the What's money. What's your beef with President Trump? My beef? Yeah. What's your gripe? Why are you here? Um, I don't think that's a very dignified question. I think that's trying to be reductive. And, uh, well, you're here to protest, and I'm asking why. I oppose everything he represents. Okay, all right, all right. So it doesn't matter whether he changes his policies. You're against it because it's from. And they would still hate him. Uh, he could shoot someone in the face on Fifth Avenue, and people would still like him. This can go both ways. Well, no, you're you're saying that whatever he puts out, you're against. If he completely changes his position and becomes a good person. So, hey.